Hello Crafted Shutter Watchers and today we're going to dive into Preference Settings in DaVinci Resolve 16.1 and uh, this is really important just to get this done and out of the way um, on each computer that you are working on. So we're going to go up here to DaVinci Resolve, we're going to come down to Preferences. Okay, first we're going to go into System, Memory, GPU, I just leave it as. I let the uh, whole I let the computer figure out what it needs, uh, DaVinci Resolve, what it wants to use. The most important thing here on this page is selecting what drive you want to work. You can add and remove drives. And right now I have what we call a working drive. And the reason I have that is because uh, I have only a terabyte on my main drive on my Mac Pro. So I run Div Dissolve through my working drive, which is plugged into a Thunderbolt. A eight terabyte system to work off of my video editing. The rest of everything here, the decode options and everything that you see here, I leave as is, okay? Now you can come in here and look at them all and if there's something that you really need, um, you know, if you want to log in your internet accounts here, that's where you do it there. But for me, the most important thing is making sure you're selecting what drives you're working with on the system. Now let's jump over to the user, okay? And the UI settings, um, I like to hit a reload last working project when logged in. I have that checked. Show focus indicators and user interface. And what that is, is this little red bar that you see right here. Wherever, whatever panel you're working in, this little red line will show up. So if you walk away and you come back, it's just a little uh, visual reminder or a a visual cue of where the action is taking place in your program. So I, I enjoy those. And the rest of these I have left as is. Okay. Um, now let's jump on down to projects saved and load. Now I like to load all timelines when opening projects. That's just how I like to do it. I don't know why these two things aren't checked uh, when you get the program. But you want live save because what that will is save if your program crashes or your computer turns off. You want live saved. Also, project backups. You can go back in time in your project if you need to. And I have that set to every 10 minutes. And I have that set at my working drive as well. And you can browse and set up a drive for that. So those are very important things to come in and check um, before you get started working with the program. On editing, um, I don't really change much here. Uh, you're welcome to read through it. Same for color, I leave it as is. Farlight, I leave the same. Playback settings, I leave the same. Control panels, uh, classic dissolve trackball alignment, LCD brightness, uh, keyboard backlighting. I don't mess with that and I don't mess with the metadata options. So this is just a really quick overview of the system preferences. And so go ahead and do those few things that I showed you. And uh, then um, you can be ready to start. And you can see that little red line there. See, I'm working down here. I'm working up there. It just is a helpful cue, cue and it goes across the whole platform. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. We will get much more depth into DaVinci Resolve 16 and uh, hopefully show you some things you didn't know. And if you're just learning it, hey, we're on this trip together. And yes, I am taking classes on DaVinci Resolve to uh, become a certified trainer. So hope you found this helpful and we will see you in the next video.